Hello Capricorn, something you're stressing about and how to stress less. Hopefully these messages here will give you some insight and some light. These messages are for September 9th through the 16th, 2023. I will never solicit you. I will never DM you. Report them. All right, let's get into this for you. Stress, stressing and stressing less. Okay, so we've got a starry night. The beaming and glistening light from the stars reminds you that there is hope for the future. So there is some type of situation in your life where you feel like there is absolutely no hope. You've thought of everything and you still feel like, you know, there's just no hope. There's just no chance. There's no hope. There's just this very sinking kind of lost feeling here. And also, it's like thrown you off. It has thrown you for a loop. It has thrown you off of your like path that you were on. It's thrown your routines off. It's, it's just, it is a major disruptor. There's something like of a major disruptor, okay, that you feel you can't go back or it can't be undone or there's nothing good coming. But I feel like there is and there is hope and there is a way and you are not meant to give up. Keep your wishes and your thoughts real positive right now and upbeat. I know that's hard and I'm not saying be merry sunshine, but I think you need to stop focusing on your failures and focus more on your accomplishments and stop focusing so much energy about a goal or where I'm going to be at or what you're going to do or you need to have this so hard, so hard. I feel like whatever's happening around you is happening for a reason. And I feel like, you know, it's more about where you're going versus where you've been. So there's some things about the past you need to make peace with or you need to release yourself from that are long gone or over or people have for, moved on or forgotten or they don't care anymore. There's some things that they are there. Yeah, I feel like you need to kind of like let go um, and wish for good things to happen. Wish for good things to happen to other people, like your loved ones. And I feel like watch the shift happen because doing that creates positive energy around you. I don't feel like whatever this situation is, is the end all be all. I think you have a different mind frame about it and it's a negative mindset where you need to switch it to positive mindset because I feel like any negative energy right now is going to fuel the situation faster, bigger, more out of control. So love and positive energy are going to help this situation. Even if you're in distance with someone or there's some kind of riff or tiff between you and someone, sending positive love, positive affirmation, letting go of their faults and their follies and just kind of sending positive affirmation to the situation, whatever you can, like love, love, love. You just need to persevere right now. I feel like success doesn't happen overnight. So if there's something you're working on, like at work, just know it's coming. All those things are coming. Um, you know, know that you, you are the star in the darkness and, you know, you have to just have good hopes for the future and know that there will always be hope for the future. As long as you choose to follow your own light and your own guidance, because that's, what's going to get you through. Trust that everything is working in its favor. Okay. It's all about divine timing. All right. What do you need to do or know to stress less? A love letter to you. Take a moment to write yourself a love letter. Write about all the things that you love about yourself and get into detail. Write down things that other people would say that they loved about you. When you feel loving, accepting, and good feelings, it, it like gets rid of the stress. It squashes it, okay? It squashes fears. So try to do that. Try to write yourself a love letter and write all those things that you love about you. And check back next week for more messages.